enabling technologies for wireless sensor networks. The building of wireless sensor networks has only become possible with some fundamental advances in enabling technologies. Those are hardware design, energy consumption, software, routing protocols, operating system. The first, hardware design. First and foremost among these technologies in the miniaturization of hardware. Smaller feature sizes and chips have driven down the power consumption of the basic components of a sensor node to a level that the constructions of WSNs can be contemplated. This is particularly relevant to microcontrollers and memory chips as such, but also the radio modems responsible for wireless communications have become much more energy efficient. Reduced chip size and improved energy efficiency is accompanied by reduced cost, which is necessary to make redundant deployment of nodes affordable. The second is the energy consumption. The sensor nodes consume the power for important three functional domains such as sensing, communication and data processing. The sensor node lifetime typically exhibits a strong dependency on battery lifetime. The constraint most often associated with sensor network design is that sensor nodes operate with limited energy budgets. Typically, sensors are powered through batteries which must be either replaced or recharged when de depleted. For non-rechargeable batteries, a sensor node should be able to operate until either its mission time has passed or the battery can be replaced. The length of the mission time depends on the type of application. A sensor node also has a device for energy scavenging. Energy scavenging, also known as power harvesting or energy harvesting or ambient power, is a process by which energy is derived from the external source. External sources include solar power, thermal power, wind energy, salinity gradients, and kinetic energy, also known as ambient energy. These are captured and stored for small wireless autonomous devices like those used in wearable electronics and wireless sensor networks. Such a concept requires the battery to be efficiently chargeable with small amounts of current which is not a standard ability. Classic energy consumption model is seen. An energy consumption model for sensor based on the observation that the energy consumption would likely be dominated by the data communication subsystems. Table reproduces their model. The energy level is mentioned by joules. The table shows the radio mode and the energy consumption. Modeling energy consumption during transmission. The energy consumed by a transmitter is due to two sources. One part is due to radio frequency signal generation, which mostly depends on chosen modulation and target distance and hence on the transmission power, that is the power radi radiated by the antenna. It is represented by PTX, transmission power. A second part is due to electronic components necessary for frequency synthesis, frequency conversion, filters and so on. These costs are basically constant. One of the most crucial decisions when transmitting a packet is thus the choice of transmission of power. Let us assume that the desired transmission power is known. The transmitted power is generated by the amplifier of a transmitter. Its own power consumption depends on its architecture, but for most of them, their consumed power depends on the power they are to generate. In the most simplistic model, the two val these two values are proportional to each other, but it is an oversimplification. A more realistic model assumes that a certain constant power level is always required irrespective of radiated power. Thus, a proportional offset is given. That is, the power from amplifier is equal to the power and the amplified alpha power to beta amplified into the transmitted power, where 
alpha amp and beta amp are constant depending on process technology and amplifier architecture. Software. Energy is the scarcest resource of WSN node and it determines the lifetime of WSN. WSN may be deployed in large number in various environments including remote and hostile region where ad hoc communication are a key component. For this region, algorithms and protocols need to be addressed the following issue. Increased lifespan, robustness and fault tolerance, self-configuration, lifetime maximization, where energy or power consumption of the sensing device should be minimized and sensor node should be energy efficient since the limited energy resource determines their lifetime. To conserve power, wireless sensor net nodes normally power off both the radio transmitter and the radio receiver when not in use. The fourth is the routing protocol. Wireless sensor networks are composed of low energy, small size and low range unattended sensor nodes. Recently, it has been observed that by periodically turning on and off the sensing communication capabilities of sensor nodes, we can significantly reduce the active time and thus prolong network lifetime. However, this duty cycle may result in high network latency, routing overhead and neighbor discovery delay due to asynchronous sleep and wake up scheduling. These limitations call for a countermeasure for duty cycled wireless sensor networks which should minimize routing information, routing traffic load and energy consumption. Operating system. Operating system for wireless sensor network nodes are typically less complex than general purpose operating, operating systems. They most strongly resemble embedded system for two reasons. First, wireless sensor networks are typically deployed with a particular application in mind rather than a general platform. Second, a need for a low cost and low power leads most wireless sensor nodes to have low power microcontroller ensuring that mechanisms such as virtual memory are either unnecessary or too expensive to implement.